What's up, where's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir, we are back in the sneaker room. Back with something that I thought was trash, but saw some on feats. So I had to do a review. But before we get all involved in that, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. Not gonna waste any more time, y'all. Let's get into it. Boom, we have it here, man. A blue box with a red jump, man. And as you can see from the details, y'all already know what's going on. Shout out to OG Johnny for allowing me to do this review, to bring this review to y'all. I feel like I've been behind on sneakers because I haven't been really hitting on anything. And some of this stuff has been like going for crazy resale. I'm like, hey, not trying to spend crazy resale on shoes that I know for a fact I'm not gonna keep. But we finally got this shoe in the sneaker room and we got to do the review. Box Label Reese Air Jordan 7 Retro SP. Color on this joint is Obsidian, Metallic Gold, Obsidian, or Metallic. It is a size nine. Again, shout out to OG Johnny for allowing me to do this review. Um, here is this. I believe he hit these joints on the sneakers. I don't believe. I think my, I think my mother-in-law had hit, hit on the sneakers. That I believe, don't, don't quote me on that. But yeah, man, y'all see the box. I know a lot of people have already done this review. But I am a seven head. I think sometimes people don't even realize it. I've showed sneakers in my collection, but I am an Air Jordan seven head. And um, this this shoe is it. It seemed very trash on the commercial, but I've seen somebody had these on feet, so I'm gonna go ahead and bust these joints open just to see in hand. It does have that like hole right here um, in the center of the box. If anybody's trying to do any legit checks, we're gonna lift the lid up. Lift the lid up. Ah, all right. Underneath the lid, uh, underneath the lid, underneath the lid, it says new sheriff in town. It does have a, a quality control sticker right here in the corner. Y'all can see new sheriff in town right there. Now the paper itself is this wax paper and it does have, um, looks like like little emblems on it, little things on it. It has a jump man, it has a ball, it has a few other things I believe, Michael Jordan's signature. Just a few things on the actual wax paper. On the trophy trophy room logo, it's a lot of different things on it, so be aware of that. Um, it is wax paper, and then it's covered by a second layer of paper as well, right here. Pull these back in, okay? Ah, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe, maybe on foot pictures look better, but in hand right now they look super, super, super weird. Boom, we have it here, the Air Jordan 7 Trophy Room. <sighs> yeah, man, in hand, it's still probably a no for me. On feet look really good, not gonna lie to you. Um, I'm probably gonna put a picture in here of the guy that I saw on Twitter with it. And he he, he, he finessed the look, but he really did it. Really went crazy on this joint, and it was dope. No, no lie, it was dope, but just looking at this shoe in hand, it's still not my cup of tea. But I like what he did. I like how he pulled the look off. And it's dope to see it in hand for the first time. Um, it's a lot of different things. I believe, in my opinion, that they tried to bring some light to the Air Jordan 1. Air Jordan 1. I feel like they tried to bring light to the Air Jordan 7 Olympic and um, put a twist to it, which I didn't think was a bad idea, but I think it would have probably been better just to do like the Air Jordan 7 Olympic, add maybe Jordan Signature, or bring back the for the love of the games, add a little extra onto that, or made it like a vintage kind of look for a seven. But I, um, I'm, I'm not really feeling these in person. The video itself um, did kind of turn me off from it as well. But um, yeah, man, um, I heard a lot of people say these remind them of Carmine's, like a Air Jordan 6 Carmine, but on a seven, and that's exactly the same vibes I'm getting. Um, in person, all this kind of like uh, suede, it's like a, a, a tan. So just looking at it, bro, it's not really a white. I wish it was like more of a white, but these look super, super, super weird in person. It's a lot It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on, just to be 1,000% honest. But a uh, quick review, man. Of course, on the bottom, we do have that Air Jordan 7 Olympic sole, which I love so much. I thought that was a dope touch. Get to the midsole, still got those Olympic uh, touches on the midsole with the white, and then you got your red and um, your gold mountain peaks. You get to your upper. Now the upper is, to me, in my opinion, feels like a suede all the way around. You got your uh, red suede on the toe box. Uh, the side panels, you do have your red right here. And again, it's not like a carmine red. It's like more of a 
uh, it's a darker red than the Carmine, but you got that red right there. You got that red up here. Um, you do have the gold jump man, which I thought is a dope touch on it. I do like that. It does have the gold aglets or eye holes for the shoelaces, which I love as well. It does come with blue shoe strings. It has a blue tongue and it does have Air Jordan across the tongue. Behind the tongue, it does say new sheriff in town. It does come with this and it does have a shoe tree. So shoe tree does say molded, uh, molded sock liner. Yeah, man, it's pretty, pretty decent. I would say the best thing about this for the price is probably the materials. So that's, that is where you will win is the materials itself. It does, it is a dope quality sneaker. Do I think it's the best looking sneaker? No, but as far as quality, 10 out of 10. Sways are good, craftsmanship's are all good as far as me looking at it, but um, just still kind of weird colorway. Here's the insole right here. I think a lot of this pays tribute to um, the Olympic games. Because if you didn't know, um, you know, I've been to into sevens in this Jordan history for a while. The, the, I guess, in my opinion, I would say that um, the whole new sheriff in town thing came from Magic Johnson. This was after um, they played this pickup game with Michael Jordan. Um, and they, he announced that he knew that at that point, like they, like they were fading out and Jordan was the new guy coming in when he came in and whooped him, whooped him so bad. And um, I, I love the fact that Magic isn't like one of those lame ass people that like, well, no Jordan, uh, you know, he ain't really all that. Like, nah, he give, he pay homage all the time and really like, really like show love to Jordan. I love that. Now this is dope. I love the gold aglets. I know y'all probably can't see that too much, but I love the gold aglets. This is something that's very dope on this. Something that I think um, they should put on like all Air Jordan 7s. I know on the, uh, on the Cardinal 7s, they didn't put like the gold aglets, which I'm not mad at, or the silver aglets, and I'm not mad at, but this is longevity right here. Jordan brand, Nike, this is longevity when you get these gold aglets, or these gold like uh, lace tips on the shoe, and it adds a dope touch to the shoe as well, so I love that aspect in itself. But yeah, bro, I think personally it's a, uh, it's a cool shoe. It's a cool shoe. Do I need it? No. Would I spend a resale on it? No. Um, just because, just being real, man, it's just like, Eh, it's one of those shoes I feel like they overdid. It is, it is a way to overdo sneakers, and I think they did just that with this shoe, man. I think they did just that with this shoe because um, it's not terrible, but it's not something that's gonna grab my eye and say, oh, I need to wear this first out of all my Air Jordan 7s. It's not even something that I would say, oh, I gotta have and you know, be super creative and, 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 and like stand out. It's like, it's okay. Um, the back of it does have a nine right here. Hopefully y'all can see that, that nine is for Jordan's number um, when he played in the Olympics. So be aware of that. Usually you do have the Air Jordan, like the, the seven or the logo and the 23 back here. Um, you do have this pull tab with all the different colors on it right here. And uh, you do have Michael Jordan's signature right here all across this, man. So super, uh, super cool shoe. I would say it's cool shoe. If you're into Air Jordan sevens and you feel like you need to collect this, I would say this is a good like little collector's piece. This isn't something, hold on. So if you're into Air Jordan 7s, I think this is a good collector's piece. Me personally, I wouldn't keep for the toe for myself. Um, I did want to pull these out, the Olympic 7s real quick to do a like compare and contrast. And to me, if you look at this joint, bro, night and day, literally night and day. And I think they knew that. I think they knew that. I just feel like, I just feel like they should have just kind of did something with this instead. This Air Jordan 7 Olympic is so fire, bro. It's so classic. And um, this is like one of those top tier Air Jordan 7s. When people talk about Air Jordan 7s, they're usually like Olympics, Bordos, or like uh, Raptors, Cardinals. Hairs is like, to me, is like the least favorite of everybody's. But uh, the Olympics easily top two in a lot of people, or top three in a lot of people's Air Jordan 7 collection or taste or preference. So if you just look at it, man, got that same kind of feel, except you got those red hits on it instead of um, that white panels. And then uh, this this whole area, which is suede, which is that tan, that tan hit, you can see that it's gray and white. So like I said, it's a lot of different colors going on with this, but I definitely think this one is definitely superior to this one. OG all day on this situation. Um, if you look at the back, like I was telling y'all, they did this with the Olympics as well. It doesn't have the 23. 
it has the nine on the back. It doesn't have the 23, it has the nine on the back. So they did the same thing with the Olympic um, sevens. Again, Jordan Wardy's in the Olympics. I believe the 1992 Olympics to be exact, the same year I was born. Um, it does have like the gold tips on the sneaker as well for the, uh, for the laces. And you have that Air Jordan right here. Yeah, man, I definitely, I definitely prefer this over that, but imagine if they would have did something like this with that metal gold jump, man, the metal aglets, um, you know, they made this, this little suede up here super crazy. Um, you got the red pull top back here, but in my opinion, I think like if we had to say anything, I'm definitely going Olympic 7s over Trophy Room 7s any day of the week. So yeah, man, I want to hear from y'all, man, um, a little bit more things. I want to know, are you choosing the Air Jordan 7 Olympic or the Air Jordan, uh, Air Jordan 7 Trophy Room? Which one do you prefer? And inside of the box, there is a Trophy Room court right here in the box. I love that little extra details. That's pretty dope. You got the seats all the way around it. You got that Trophy Room in the middle. It does come with a like a clipboard as well. And then on the back, it has um, like that information. In 1992, 12 basketball icons were selected to compete for a gold medal in the summer game. That summer, the team was uh, celebrated as the greatest sports team ever assembled. The impact on the game remains a pivotal milestone that influenced the global growth of basketball. The team played eight tournaments, but it was the spirit practices that the players remember most. One, uh, one practice in particular, MJ says was the uh, MJ says was the greatest game he ever played in. From MJ's perspective, you had the best competitors com um, competing in a closed gym, striving toward a common goal. Ten of the best players in the world. But that's the really detail. It's a lot of details on it, man. It basically tells the back of this card basically tells you to um, basically tells you what went down. Like I said, the whole new sheriff in town aspect came from that pickup game, that practice game during the um, summer of the Olympic Games, man. So uh, super fire. Like I said, it is like a clipboard. Underneath it does say um, teams. That's pretty dope touch. Like I said, man, I feel like they went all out for the shoot. Underneath it says teams, it says white and blue, and it has the um, points for the team. So that is pretty much it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the Air Jordan 7. Uh, trophy room is it hot is it not are you picking the air jordan 7 trophy room over the olympics are you doing that i'm personally not but i want to know from y'all are y'all but yeah man that is it man before y'all go y'all make sure y'all hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews the on feast the sneaker vlog the sneaker news and everything else that comes with the channel i thank y'all for watching man the future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all.